Hello fellow Yarn Whisperers, this is Fallon again back with you at the Yarn Whisperer. If you're not already and you would like to, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you know every time that I whisper a new yarn project or tutorial or whatever else that I might offer on this channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial. Oop, I bumped my camera. Sorry. I'm going to be showing you a tutorial and I'm going to have to explain a lot of this. My video camera editing skills are lacking sorely. And so let me unfold this a little bit for you. This is a pattern from lionbrand.com and it's called the Cascades Cowl Crochet Pattern and it's very beautiful and it works up very quickly and it's very easy. It's one of those that you could almost do <clears throat> while you're watching TV or listening to the radio or you can take it with you and not have to think too much about it and I just love the way that it works up and I love the colors of the mandala sparkle yarn I think that it's got just the perfect amount of shimmer in it and this video is not sponsored by lion brand but of course if they ever wanted to reach out I'm happy to accept <laughs> um, so you can see just how beautiful that that stitch is it's just a bunch of continuous V stitches and I'm going to show you how to do it and it won't take very long so this is a completed one that I've done and for the purposes of the tutorial what I'm going to do is start the tutorial with this ball of mandala sparkle yarn and then I have um, a couple more over here that I haven't finished that are in a different color so they get sewn together at the end and I'm going to show you how to do that I have fuzz all over these things I'm going to show you how to do that with the remaining yarn at the end of your project and there's no real specific way that you have to do it you can sew it how sew it together however you like I like to pull from the center and so, oh, before, before I do that, before I show you this, I took some notes. It is the Cascades Cowl pattern from lionbrand.com. The stitches and techniques that you will need to know are a slip knot, a chain, a double crochet, and a V stitch, which is just a double crochet, chain one double crochet. So that's where the double crochet comes into play. You'll need a five millimeter hook or an H8, which I have right here one ball of mandala sparkle yarn, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. So with all of these things that we have that we need to get started, I'm going to go ahead and show you a few rows of how to do this. A little bit of yarn barf on the video. Don't mind me. I love this pattern. It's one of those patterns that just works up nicely. It's it's fun to do. Um, and the, the result is just so pretty. It just ends so beautifully. So the first thing that you want to do is put a slip knot on your hook. And then we're going to chain 34. Three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three and 34. So now you have a chain of 34 and this is going to be the width of the cowl or the well the Cascades cowl. It's it's more of an infinity scarf than anything. I don't know that it qualifies as a cowl in my opinion but because it has quite a bit of length to it. I like to work the entire ball of yarn because I want to get all of those colors in there. So the next thing that you want to do, and I'll bring this closer to the camera, is you want to count five chains from the hook 
and put in a v-stitch so one two three four and five so this stitch right here and we're going to do a v-stitch and to do a v-stitch we're going to start with a double crochet which is yarn over go through the stitch and pick up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops then you chain one and then you do another double crochet in the exact same stitch so yarn over through the stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over yarn over <laughs> pull through two then we're going to skip two stitches and we're going to do the same thing yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two chain one yarn over through the stitch pull through two pull through two skip two yarn over do the double crochet chain one do the second double crochet skip two double crochet chain one double crochet back into the same stitch and we do this all the way along skip two chain one after the first double crochet another double crochet back into the same stitch skip two again and repeat and so for the sake of video time I'm going to kind of speed up now that you get the gist of how to begin this just keep going until you hit the end and I'm almost there but this is again I just gotta say this is such a wonderful pattern it's definitely one of my favorites I've already made this will be my fourth one that I've made and I plan to they have such a beautiful variety of colors I plan to have several of them made available at my booth at the craft fairs that I have in the fall okay so now that you're at the end you have skipped two all the way along you should have and I'll lay this out so that we can see it really well you should have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten did I count that right five yep yeah. you should have ten V stitches all the way across we pull from one over here just to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Oh, I counted that off camera. There's ten. There's ten across. Okay, so what you do at the end, you'll have two chains at the end of this row. And so you want to just put one double crochet in the very last chain. Bloop, bloop. All right, so now we finish that up. Now we need to chain two, three, and then let me double check the pattern over here. Chain up three, and then we turn our work and we start the pattern all over again but we're going to be working into this V so we'll have all of these V's so this chain three counts as this double crochet at the end so that we've got the space to work up then we're going to put a double crochet into the last V stitch that we did <clears throat> excuse me the last V stitch that we did so we're going to stick our yarn just through the space in between the two double crochets and start another V stitch. So there's one double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet into the same stitch. And that is essentially the pattern for the entire thing. So let me work across this with you one time. We will, you don't have to worry about skipping two anymore. You just know that as you go along every subsequent row, that you'll be working the V-stitch into the V-stitch 
previous. So you'll see the V, you'll do your first double crochet into the V, you'll chain one, you'll go back down into that V and do another double crochet. And I'm going to work with you all the way across one more time and then we're going to talk about finishing it up. Such a simple thing. I mean, really, I've taken, I took one of these to the park with me and uh, uh, finished one while my kids were playing on the playground. I, it's an easy pattern to take, like if you're going to be in a car for a while, if you can't really follow a pattern that requires a lot of attention somewhere, this is definitely the type of pattern that you want to have to be able to work on. It gets some things done. It makes a lovely gift. And there's it, it's minimal investment, really, because these mandala cakes, and I don't know about you guys, but our my local Walmart has put some of these on clearance. And so they got down to $3 a cake, and then I think someone said that they were down to $2 a cake. I haven't been back. I really need to go back. Okay, so the very last V that you worked into. So now what you'll need to do to finish the pattern, you're going to want to connect this to this and we're going to do that with a double crochet just like we did back here. But instead, now you can, I think you can just work into it like this and that's fine. I have been super specific in the past and have worked into the stitch You'll see this is the right side of the stitch, this is the back side of the stitch, the lump on the back of the stitch. I've been super particular and picked up the stitch, which is the third chain when you chain up. And I feel like that might be a little bit more even. It might just be me and my OCD, I don't know. So then you'll chain three, you'll flip your work over, and you are back with another V stitch and you work into the V stitch all over again with another V stitch. Make sure not to get those mixed up with this space. You don't want to work into these two spaces. You want to work right into the middle of the V and you don't have to pick up the chain in the middle. I guess you could be super particular about that too, but in the end that part just looks really nice regardless. So you work into that double crochet, chain one, double crochet back into that again. And you'll work that all the way across and you can already see the pattern forming. It's going to be beautiful and I cannot wait to see all of these colors show up in this scarf. This is the one that I've been most excited about. I love everything rainbow. Everything rainbow makes me so happy. Makes my heart sing. Okay, so now that we have done this pattern, let me see, this one's a little dark. Let me get this one out. Now that we have worked on the pattern, there's a lot of excess yarn there. So I'm going to take some of this off. I'm going to cut it right about there. I'm going to cut it off at the green because we're joining greens together. We'll have all of this to tie up and I have a scrap project that I've worked on for quite a while. Maybe I can add it to that. Okay, so I know that this is folded up so that the right sides are facing. I don't have it twisted. Make sure that you don't have it twisted. And we want to thread this yarn tail onto our darning needle. This is the first time I've used one of these. This is from a previous video where I unboxed some Wish items that I purchased for crochet. So now, you want to make sure that your stitches are lined up. So we'll put that together. We'll kind of put this together. You could even go as far as to, and I'll do that, why not? Let's see, this is, those are lined up really well. We'll put a little stitch marker right here just to keep them on the right track. 
This is another thing that I got from Wish. Look at it coming in handy. Isn't that fantastic? We'll stick another one right at the end just to guarantee that it all stays together like it's supposed to. Okay, so there's no particular way that you have to do this. You can go all the way into the stitch, like making sure to pick up certain pieces. I can be that particular about it sometimes. So let's, why not? You don't have to be. I feel like you could just kind of run through the stitches just loop it through and loop it through and you would be good to go. It doesn't have a specific, I don't believe, request on stitches at the end for whenever you're sewing it together. So I will say that I, I do like this method of just round and around and around. I don't know. I'm not very good at naming. Let's pull that out and see. And that lines up nicely. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that. I don't know the names of the sewing terms very well. I'm not particularly well versed on that. Someone tell me what you think. And I don't think that I'll continue to talk on camera through all of this. Ooh, let me tell you, that camera gets in my way sometimes. I get wild with this crochet stuff. My husband and I. We have two kids, and we actually had a babysitter. I don't I don't have a lot of babysitters that I can call on. And so we actually had a babysitter, a really close family friend, kept both of our kids overnight not too long ago. And we didn't really know what to do with ourselves. So what happened? I set up until 2 a.m. crocheting, and he fell asleep next to me watching a movie because we are just party animals, let me tell you. And see, I'm not spending too much time being too careful. Oh, I'm not being careful at all, look at that. <laughs> I'm not spending too much time being too careful or too particular at this point. As long as you gather them and you're making sure they're straight, and I'm definitely making sure that the stitches are straight this time because I have utilized a stitch marker. I don't ever do that. My mother would be so proud that I'm being careful. <laughs> um, as long as you've got it all lined up, it, it works really well. And you won't have any trouble with it. I keep leaning off the camera because I want to get it closer to me to sew. And now we're middle of the way. I think I will talk your head off the entire time. What about that? Mm, that one looks good. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's as wild as I get, y'all. I'm gonna knock my camera clean off the desk. I have a, I finally set up the whole camera thing the way that I believe that I like it. I have some good plugins right here beside this desk. I've got a nice light, so it doesn't matter what time of day that I'm recording, and I, especially this week, have some quiet time. My son is away at camp, and my daughter is, like, giddy with the fact that she gets the whole house to herself, pretty much. She misses her brother, though. They're, they're good siblings. They're good to each other. They love each other. And so, I have crocheted a lot and of course I miss my boy but I'm planning to go see him while he's at camp tomorrow I believe and look at that we're already at the end so I'll go ahead and take this off just throw that sucker out of there and this is probably good that I did go ahead and work it all the way to the end because then you'll get to see Okay, all of that's lined up nicely. I am satisfied with that. Most of the time, people will pick a certain spot that they want to have on the back of their neck anyway. I think that this is probably it. So then you want to pick up some stitches and sew in these ends. I'm going to go through that one, and then I'm going to turn it around 
turn it all the way around get that tail out of the way lay this more like this okay so I've got this going kind of in this direction and I like to just pick up a whole bunch of random stitches this is kind of where I have sewn it in you can see the pattern on that so I'm gonna go through before I go through let me aim it to the inside of the work go through it once twice not pulling too tight because you don't want to distort the stitches and a third time just for good measure make certain that you're not going to pull those out and this is where your scissors come in handy Sit off right close to the project we have one more end to sew in and this ladies and gents is probably the longest video on my channel to date I'm pleased with how this turned out I I think that I think that worked out nicely so I go through here and I don't want to go back in the same place because I don't really want that spot to get super bulky feeling where I sewed in the last bit so just gonna very carefully go in through and around that double crochet or the chain three I should say making sure to pull through to the back side of the project two we'll get it through one more time and a third time that was a, a short tail okay so give that just a little tug to make sure that everything's good to go snip off your end and there you have it such a beautiful let me get this twisted around kind of like how it would be on a neck and show you just such a beautiful set of colors they're all so fantastic this is the one that I showed you earlier I'll twist this one up nice too I love this yarn it is one of my absolute favorite yarns ever the colors and just the little touches of sparkle here and there are so beautiful and of course I've got this darker one my daughter says this one reminds her of the galaxy and I can't wait to have the rainbow done yes I will I'm gonna be doing a pattern update of things that I have been working on personally and that is all if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends thank you so much for watching and I will see you again on the yarn whisper bye